Continuing coverage now on a convicted cop killer in Alabama who has now been executed. Nathaniel Woods died by lethal injection last night after the U.S. Supreme Court lifted a temporary stay. There was national attention surrounding his ex execution, with many, including the son of civil rights icon Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., advocating on Woods' behalf. News 5's Katerina Lukatich was a witness as Woods was put to death. She joins us now in the studio to talk about this. And Katerina, what was that like? Well, definitely an eerie feeling witnessing someone being executed. But Woods, he was relatively calm before the drug was administered. He didn't have any final words before they uh, started pumping that drug through his veins. But there was a lot of controversy in the last week. Advocates arguing that because Woods didn't actually pull the trigger, that he was innocent. But Alabama's attorney general says Woods was an active and willing participant in the crime, saying he pointed out one of the officers to be shot and bragged about the crime afterwards. The AG says Woods even wrote a letter to the widow of one of the officers taunting her. For the families of those officers, this past week has been anything but easy. Our hearts were shattered and lives were turned upside down on that horrific day. This past week, it feels like I'm reliving that day all over again. Total strangers and social media have been disrespectful, distasteful, and I am appalled and infuriated. Now, the convicted gunman in this case, Carrie Spencer, is still sitting on death row at Holman. A lot of people are taking issue with that. Do we know why an execution date hasn't been set for him? Well, for him, his, he still has some appeals that are being held up in the federal court system. Mm -hmm. So once those are all cleared, then they can set an execution date for him. All right. Thanks, Katerina.